All right, so to turn the thing on, first you're gonna come to this guy and you hit the on button. That'll spin up. I'll wait for this to come down and settle like 250, 249, somewhere in there, pretty close to 50. Then you move over, down the way. To this guy, push this guy up. And after that, this is the main on switch for the machine. So just turn it to on, and you hear that fire up. All right, so once you have that all on, this is the on button for these part. Press that and it'll boot up, and that takes a minute. And it'll come up and it should start in it with a uh, position marker. So there's a position marker where you're at. Be ready. Now, what's the first thing you want to do is you need to zero out the Z axis and the Y, X, and Y axis. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to zero, and then what you want to do is you want to press Z first because what you want to do is you want to make sure this comes up out of the way of the table. So, we're going to press Z plus. Now, that will come up and zero out. If we look at the position here, you'll see that the position of Z will come to zero. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do X and Y, and that's done right here. Oh, we always wanna hit the plus here. As you see, it's on negative there, so we'll hit plus. Now the table is gonna slide over. You'll see that this is gonna come back to zero. And then we'll do Y. That comes out, and that'll come out and set at zero. Okay, so once that is done, the table is zeroed out, and it's a good practice to do for the first thing. Now at this point, what you can do is you want to run on H mode, which is handle, which runs this guy. And that runs your X, Y, Z axis. So if we hit Z and we jog, you'll see this will actually jog down. And this will coordinate with that too when you come down. And we're gonna jog back up. We do the same thing with Y. And we do the same thing with X. Now one thing you'll notice, if you go too far, like I went too far, see where it says alarm message over travel and X? That just means I went, I tried to go the wrong way before it was ready, and now it won't let you go back. And just once you move it off of zero, hit reset, and then that'll free that back up. You see if I go over too far, it'll do it again. Now it's like, oh, it went too far. So it errors out when you do that. It'll do that on every one of them. If you go to Y, and you come all the way out. It'll do that on the same thing if you zero out too far and then if you go back in, you notice you can't come back out until you clear the error code. Not a big deal, it's just a safety parameter for the machine. Before you wanna start the machine, you can move these all individually with just the H wheel. Uh, you, can, you can pretty much mill whatever you want this way. Um, you can also change the speed of the dial by changing these parameters here. You can come down to like 10, that'll make it very, very slow. You can go down to one, that makes it extremely slow. You can also do a uh, jog setting. And if you don't want to use the wheel, then you can use these controls to change how fast the machine runs if you just want to do that. And you can see if I move it, it's actually moving those parameters. So you can dial in exactly to where you want when you're cutting a piece of machine or piece of material off. Do the same thing with the Z axis as well. You can come down, come up. Rapid does the exact same thing as jog, only faster. So if you really want to see something quick, you can go there to figure it out. And then you can get the jog and you can start slowing that down to doing small things. So once you get that set, now you know how to move the table around and adjust the settings. You do have to set in the spindle speed before it'll work because right now if you hit spindle speed it does nothing when you're working on this. So spindle speed is done by make sure you're in MIDI. You're going to go to program. Make sure in this window here. Now we're going to hit insert. We're going to do M03 insert. Just put that there. And then we're going to do S2000 end of block insert. And now I'll have ML3 S2000, which that'll come in the spindle to spin at 2000 RPM when we hit output. And there we go. So once you have your spindle going, if you notice in this mode in MDI, you cannot turn the spindle off. 
So what you have to do is if you want to turn the mode off, you can either go to H to run this or you can just hit reset and it'll turn it off. But if you hit reset, it clears the code out. So we'll do that one more time. So we're gonna to go to uh, MDI, program, insert M03, insert S3000, end of block, insert output start. So now the spindle's running. Now, in this mode here, after this, you can come to H, which is your jog mode here with the, with the handle. Now you can start milling this way if you wanted to mill. You can bring your Z-axis down to get to your material. You can also change your spindle speed over here. Right now it's running at 100%, which is 3,000 RPM we set it to. You can come down to 50, which is 1,500 RPM, or you can crank it up a little higher than that if you want to. You can also just stop this Go back into MDI in the program and set your spindle speed up to, I believe, 8,000 on this machine. Now to do a tool change, you have to be in either H, jog, or rapid mode. You can't do any of the other modes, which I'm sure you know that, right? So hit H and you know you press this button here, it'll release the tool, put the new tool in, and then it'll pop back out. There's a button here, when you hit this button, it will drop the tool out the bottom as soon as you hit the button. So make sure you have your hand on the tool, press that, you'll see it. You'll see there's some dogs on it there that will line up with it. You just put it right back in, make sure you're linked, and then you let go of the button, it'll grab the tool and you're back in position. So. Okay, so we're gonna do a tool change on this. You wanna go to MDI, you're gonna go to program, and then you'll see that you have the program menu here. Now, we, with doing a tool change, you have to do two end of blocks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit insert, we're gonna call our tool, we're gonna do T02, end of block, insert, which will put tool two, then we're gonna do M06, which is the change tool command, and the block insert. So now we have T02 M06, and now when we hit output start, it grabbed tool two and put it in the block. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back, we're going back to tool one, so we're gonna to go to, make sure we're in the program menu here, we're gonna to go to insert, T01 and the block insert, which will put 201 in the tray. And then we're gonna command it with M06 and the block insert, which now that's the tool change command. Now we hit start. That's about all I know at this point. And then how do you turn it on? There's, there's a light right there. And a light? <laughs> And then you just hit it off right there. And then you reverse the process going back to turn it off. Okay.